No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between one life being set to the second and you going from the back from back? Okay, so first of all, is this whole article fake? Here, explain to me. This is interesting. So. Hello, go. I'll get what you need to get it. And I, I need some space. We need you to just talk. With no respect, you said then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse. Okay. I love you, but Steven, Steven, you're a beast. He's sick. You're a beast. Watch it. He's sick. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna let go, I'll get what you need to get it. And I, I need some space. We need you to just talk What am I supposed to take from this? Yeah, we'll just watch the liar shit. That video cut is shit. Oh, three and a half minutes. Oh my god. Oh, it's not that long. I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. There are no groceries I would have Steaks, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes, how do you man? How do man? I do see the love of that. No, no. How do they manage to make it? No, you're not taking the car. Steven, you're not taking the car. Steven, you are not. Then I will ask them to pick me up. Do you think Stephen Crowder's soon to be ex-wife will go for every penny she can get? Do you think Steven Crowder, soon to be ex-wife, will go for every penny she can get? He, is he emotionally? I have no idea, dude. I don't know anything about his ex-wife. I don't know anything about their marriage. I don't know how many assets uh, Crowder has. I don't know anything about them. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. Mon says it's okay. Give an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between my life being set to the setting and you going from the back to the back? Okay, so first of all, why do they only- look at this house, okay? Why do they only have one car? It sounds like they have one car. Why? Okay, number one. Number two, how long is she leaving for? Is she talking about taking like a two-day road trip and he's not gonna have a car? Like, what's going on here? I'm so confused. <laughs> The only way out of it is discipline and respect. If the only way out of it is we're at an impact. We are at an impasse. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up Stephen. You, know, Steven? you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. And you said, then we're at an impasse. Stephen, no, we are at an impasse. Okay? I love you, but Stephen, Stephen, you're a beast. He's sick. You're a beast. Watch it. He's sick. Watch it. Watch it. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need to get. And I, I need some space. We need you to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need you to do A, B, C, and D, you just be disciplined about it. You go, no. But I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary? You're right, right in past. Become someone, let's see it, day in and day out, worthy of a wife, worth, no, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not gonna engage, I'm not gonna engage anymore. I'm gonna go, I'll get texting what you need, I'll get you what you need. Mm -hmm. I, I love you, I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not committed to those things. Are you committed enough to do those things? Back. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you. I'm committed to you. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm good. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dogs take? No, you take that in.
I hate judging. I hate evaluating like fights from like, or I hate evaluating relationships from single fights. Um, I don't. I, they're honest to God. I just don't have enough information to make any statement about this. It could be the case, for instance, that um, I mean, obviously, you should never say I'm gonna fuck you up to a partner. Like for this particular clip, it could be the case that um. He's just being like an, amu an, an abusive piece of emperor. shit. Um, it could be that he's like trying to keep her from going anywhere. He's trying to lock on the house, etc. Like that, those could all be things for sure. Um, however, uh, it could also be the case that she's like an ultra super lazy f that does nothing around the house ever, and he's getting tired of it. That could be the case too. Um, I have no idea. It's. Um, I mean, like you, we, we can sit here and jerk off about how evil and horrible somebody is, but like I. Like I hate um I hate trying to evaluate like relationship status from a fight. <clears throat> He's acting like a child. You don't know that. You have no idea though. You don't know. Like what if it is theoretically? It could be the case. It could be the case that he just got home and and is chilling after recording like a second or third episode from the day and found out that like everything in the house is in disarray or. And maybe they've got a maid and she's got like two responsibilities and she hasn't even done that. It could be the case, right? Um, it could also be the case that he's just like walking around the house and he's lazy and does nothing. He thinks that since she has a job, he can boss her around all day to do whatever he wants. That could be the case too. But we just don't know. We don't, we don't have any, we have no context. But she's eight months pregnant. Who the f cares? What does that have to do with anything? <clears throat> it's COVID times. So he was working from home. Yeah, I have no idea. I just, I need more. Yeah, I just, I, I need more. Um, I, I need more context, I guess. But he doesn't mention anything like that? Neither of them mention anything. We have no idea. Would you expect your wife to walk the dogs and do housework that pregnant? Rachel worked up until like, I think three days before she gave birth. There were two other women. Um, fuck, one? I don't remember their names. But they also worked like a few days up until they gave birth, yeah. That's, I think that's probably normal, I think. I know that a lot of people think that like pregnant women can't do anything and they basically spend the last two months like bedridden, unable to move, but that's not true. Or at least in my life, every pregnant woman I've known is fucking boss that shit right up to fucking delivery, basically. Um, typically they, they work, they do things or whatever. They might be a little you bit more irritable. You think that no fault divorce um, in the US provides a utility It might be that they're, yes. Um, it might be that their feet get sore or their ankles can get swollen or they could definitely be moody or hormonal, like those things happen too. But it's not like a woman in like the last month of pregnancy is like uh, some bedridden fucking worthless fucking can't do anything, right? There's just like some extra shit that you have to do. And also you should also generally be, um, you should generally be nicer and more patient with pregnant women, of course, but. Destiny, you'd be received much better if you just articulate all that you said and then say something. However, just in this clip, it seems pretty fucked. Chat wouldn't get so full where No, I'm not gonna say however just in this clip. I don't know. I would never, ever, 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 ever judge a relationship. There are so many fights I've had from my relationships where you can make either me or my partner look insane. If you're just gonna clip like three minutes out of one fight we've had, like I can find tons of insane shit. Um, no, I think I would never, I don't think I would ever judge a relationship based on like a two or three minute recorded fight that's being linked to me. I need way more background. You wanted her to give their dog some medication she thought might be toxic to her and the baby? Okay, but like... <laughs> There's, that statement in and of itself could mean like 30 things, right? Like, is it so toxic that like if she touches it, the baby's gonna die? Is that true? I doubt it. Or is it a medication that like if handled in copious amounts might lead to some birth, blah, 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 right? That's why like, can she wear gloves? But again, I don't know. It might be an unreasonable ask from him. Um, I can't have this, dude, I'm getting, oh God. There are certain conversations around this that I like, makes me want to quit streaming. <laughs> Cause the audiences are so Half fucking retarded. Still virgins. I don't um, want to hear their take. I like, I, I like, you, I, like, I, I guess I'll say it. Maybe there's a lot of young people here, retarded ass me fucks here. Like the reality is, is that I'll tell you this. This is just like a life fact. This is just, I don't, I don't know how else to tell you other than you'll learn when you get older. You cannot judge a relationship based on a three or four minute fight. If you think you can, it's because you're retarded full stop that's it you just can't you can't you have no f idea there are so many types of fights where once you get more information you're like oh shit okay i understand this or wow this is crazy you're like oh okay this makes sense why this person that. like you can't you can never ever ever on like a two three four minute thing just evaluate on on shit like this like you just you can't do it <clears throat> i 
Remember, Desi, most of these morons were primed by Hassan? Oh, sure. Well, in that case, I'll give you Hassan's take. Oh, well, Stephen Crowder is a conservative, and here you can see them living their real values, keeping their wives locked up at home, and f miserable all day, even though she's pregnant, he's making her do all these f things. Ah! And Stephen Crowder's evil, because he's a conservative. There you go. That's a, your Hassan take, okay? So as long as we don't see someone beating his wife, we can't make any judgments. Yep, that's what I said. See you later. Forever. Never, ever, ever unban. Bye. Yeah, that's true. I actually made a bad judgment once. That is true. I saw that video of, um... I saw that video of DJ Academics in the lobby. I thought he was hitting a woman. That shit was... That clip was f***ing wild to me. I remember seeing this clip initially, and I thought it looked pretty... I think it looked pretty insane for Big Egg, but apparently the full story, and you can definitely see it borne out here, was that I think he came out of a show with that girl with the red hair, and this is his current, or his was girlfriend. She jumped this chick to fight her. <laughs> he, had to, he had to pull her off. But he's saying like, bro, we're in Miami. We're not doing that hood shit here. F off. And that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to, so in that context, like, oh, okay, this makes way more sense. And you can even see, as soon as he disengages here, She's ready to go back at it. <clears throat> and she goes to smack her again, yeah. So like, yeah, so I, so initially when I saw this clip, I was like, damn bro, you can't be, you can't like have a girl against a wall fucking screaming at her like that in a hotel. You're fucking crazy. But then getting the more context, like, oh, okay, yeah. Not to say that anything is necessarily good or bad, but I'm just saying like, holy shit, more context can completely change the, the, the way that you view a fight. I just don't understand why you're being so charitable to a guy who literally thinks women are second-class citizens. No shit, he is going to treat her like trash and force her to do chores while sitting and smoking in front of her. Because, you fucking retard, it doesn't count as being charitable when you're only charitable to the people that you would suck. Do you understand that? You don't get fucking points for being charitable to your parents, to your siblings, or to your fucking friends. That's just called being a normal human being. Being charitable to somebody usually implies that you're going above and beyond to be objective and to try to be fair to a person that you might otherwise not be incentivized to be fair to. You don't get bonus points for being charitable to people that you like. Obviously, I don't like Steven Crowder, and it wouldn't surprise me if more context reveals that he is an abusive piece of shit. That could be the case, but that's, there's not enough here to say it. There's not enough here to say it. There, I can think of 50 million situations that would explain why he's acting the way that he is here. It happened with Pokemon. It happened with Amaranth, where more information could come out and completely eighty your view on things. I'm not saying that Crowder's in the right. I'm just saying you don't have enough information. You, you know what we should do? Wait, is this movie public domain? We should just watch this movie. Where is this guy? Is this, is this public domain yet? It is public domain? All I'm saying is it's possible. All I'm saying is it's possible. Why do you think they only have one car? I really don't understand that given how loaded he is. They might only have one car because he's an abusive piece of shit that tries to isolate his wife from everybody else and keep her locked in the house. Or they might only have one car because they have two cars and the other car's in the shop. I don't know, do you? You probably don't know either. Have you read the article yet? No, we're about to. Exclusive, blah, blah, blah. okay. Conservative media host and commentator Steven Crowder can be seen on a ring camera video berating his wife, Hillary, who was at the time nearly eight months pregnant and demanding that she handle medicine for his dogs that she was concerned was toxic to pregnant women. In the video, he snaps at her to put on her gloves to give his dogs medicine, walk the dogs, and otherwise perform wifely duties as she is clearly emotionally distressed. From wife, wifely duty, she went out. Towards the end of the exchange, Hillary Crowder says to her husband, your abuse is sick. He snaps at her saying, watch it, watch it. Moments later, off camera, Stephen Crowder, by his own admission, would lose control and scream at his pregnant wife in a threatening tone. I will f*** you up. Which led to his, which led his wife to flee their home. In a statement sent to me by Hillary Crowder's family, they say that she spent years hiding her husband's mental and emotional abuse from her family, that he lied about the circumstances around the divorce, and that he wasn't present for the birth of their children. Documentary evidence I reviewed while reporting this story backs up their assertions. The statement in its entirety is printed later on in the story. The ring camera footage documenting the moments leading up to the moment where Stephen Crowder said, I will f*** up, something that was at the pinnacle of aggressiveness in their marriage, but was also part of a pattern of emotional abuse is posted in full at the top of this post in detail later on. Why didn't they include footage of that? Why would you... Destiny is never this charitable to trans people? I'm...
Do you know why I want to get on gear? Is because I just want to go to the gym twice a day. That's all I want to do. I just want to go to the gym and pump iron all day long. Because you know what? It's better than this shit. It's better than you fucking cucks in my chat. Nobody one guys me at the gym ever. Okay. Neither Hillary nor Steven Crowder is contending that there was physical abuse in their marriage or sexual infidelity. And in audio files and text messages I reviewed, Steven Crowder admits to some of his faults, which include a volcanic temper repeatedly and at times regretfully. But according to sources I spoke to who are familiar with their relationship, Stephen Crowder's admission often came after a sustained period of mental and emotional abuse, and he didn't seem to be able to control his impulses. This story is based on conversations with multiple sources, none of whom would speak to me unless they were granted anonymity. I also reviewed text messages, extensive audio files, and personal videos documenting the, documenting the Crowder's marriage. Hillary Crowder was not available for comment or conversation with me on more confidential terms. Two messages sent to Stephen Crowder via his website requesting comment have yet to be replied to by the time the story is published. If he does reply or comment publicly about the deals posted here, this story will be updated accordingly. Crowders were married in 2012 after dating for two years and being engaged for less than a year. Hillary Crowder, Crowder filed for divorce in December of 2021 after she found that her husband had hired a divorce attorney a month earlier. Hillary Crowder welcomed the twins via C-section in August of 2021. Despite her best efforts, her husband was absent when their twins were born. Instead, he met their newborn twins later that day at the hospital. The night before she gave birth, Stephen and Hillary exchanged a series of text messages about separating. Hillary sent her husband one of the final text messages. Stephen, I'm afraid of you and your rage. You're scary. You scare me. I want to heal things, but you have to take responsibility. Stop blaming others. Stop feeling pain and sadness only for yourself. The past weeks, rumors of their divorce, which the press had not discovered for over a year, began to spread on Twitter. On Tuesday, Stephen Crowder briefly spoke about the news on his popular show, Louder with Crowder. Crowder said, we watched this. Crowder bemoaned Texas's no-fault divorce law several times in a statement. No-fault divorce laws allow either party in a marriage to get divorced without requiring a cause like abuse or infidelity. It wasn't the first time Crowder had talked about his disgust for such laws. What Crowder didn't mention was that his very private wife, who hardly appears at public events and is rarely photographed, had made a request via her attorneys that her husband had not discussed their divorce at all. Stephen Crowder dismissed that request and spoke about the divorce and their marriage for about five minutes in a clip that went viral. In a statement sent to me via email, Hillary Crowder's, Crowder's family said, Hillary is currently living alone in Dallas, apart from her family and support system in Michigan, and is focused on taking care of her young children. She's not prepared at this time to speak about her divorce, becoming public, or the misleading statements made by Stephen about their relationship. The truth is that Hillary spent years hiding Stephen's mentally and emotionally abusive behavior from her friends and family while she attempted to save their marriage. She was the one who was asking to work on their relationship to keep the marriage intact for their unborn children. In June of 2021, Stephen left their home to pursue elective surgery. Hillary urged him to get the help he needed to address his abuse with the hope that their family could be saved and they could peacefully live together as a family. Instead, Stephen refused to do so. And blah, blah, blah. Well, it was blah, 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 blah. boring. And the ring camera video, which is captured on June 26, 2021, Stephen Crowder's angry as he sits at the patio smoking. And Hillary Crowder's in a state of motion. She burst to leave the house. Stephen Crowder insists Hillary not take their one car to run errands as it would keep him housebound and that she, a nearly eight month pregnant, should take an Uber. He also writes for not doing her wifely duties. This is just summarizing the video. In the review of audio, video, and text, Stephen Crowder repeatedly admits he has a volcanic temper at one point, and the audio files are reviewed. Wait, is this a fake article? Is this whole article fake? Here, explain to me. This is interesting. So, we have a three and a half minute video. I believe the video is real. We have a three and a half minute video. What, what do you guys want? Okay, we have a three and a half video, three and a half minute video. But then we've got this person talking over and over again. How about they, they revealed text messages. They've got audio. They've got video. Audio files, text messages I reviewed. I also reviewed text messages, extensive audio files, and personal videos documenting Crowder's marriage. Um, we've exchanged a series of text messages about separating more text, like in a review of audio, video, and text messages, Stephen Crowder also admits he's a volcanic temper. Why are they referencing these text messages so many times? And the article includes none of it. All I have is this one video up here. Why, there's nothing, and then this whole last part of this is just about, um, like his Louder with Crowder show, and then the Daily Wire thing. Like so many things in his life in recent years, Crowder's temper and paranoia led him to destroy his relationship with Shapiro, Boring, and others at the Daily Wire when he posted video. Daily Wire responded that they couldn't compensate him with the initial contract. Then he recorded a call. In an interview with Michael Malice, Crowder's former co-host, Daily News said that Crowder would regularly tip calls to people that were knowing. Like, this has nothing to do with any of this.
In reviewing documentary evidence related to their marriage, Steven Crowder appears obsessed with the idea that his wife is only interested in for money. Hillary Crowder started dating him well before he was free, like, they can, so they can release more stuff in new articles? Yeah, I guess. But this is such a, it's such a strange, the author, does the author have to reveal everything? Could there be a reason to hold back some things? You understand how weird it is to say that like, to reference over and over again, um, I've reviewed audio files, text messages, videos, audio files, text messages, extensive audio files. Where are they? Why would you not link or source any of it? Why would you not play any of it? Why is it just the one video? That's so weird. This article's dog shit, but I don't know. He might be a piece of shit too. Probably because it will reveal the source so they are no longer anonymous. Yeah, but they're, I mean, wait, what do you, that doesn't even make sense. We'll, we'll reveal the source. If you're saying you have extensive audio files, well, what the source is probably what, like three or four people? Like how many people could that be? You're already basically, I don't know. There's, it just seems, it seems weird for them to allude to text messages, audio files, personal videos over and over and over and over again, and then not source or cite any of it. Like, look, we have a whole block quote here. We have a whole block quote here from what Crowder said on his show. Why do we need this? I don't know. 